Hey everyone, you're with Tom. Thanks so much for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how you can charge a Polestar 2 using a few different methods. The first situation is using a dedicated EV charger that you can install at home. I'm a Tesla owner myself, so I'll be demonstrating the use of our Gen 3 Tesla wall connector that is compatible with all EVs. The second situation is with the use of the provided 10 amp charger. This of course turns any regular power point into a fuel station. Thirdly, we'll head out to a public charging station to test out a Type 2 EV charger. And finally, we'll test out a 350 kilowatt DC charger. Currently, the fastest available EV charging option in this country. Okay, everyone, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so I just want to show you the Polestar 2 charging from our Gen 3 Tesla wall connector. Okay, heading out to the car. There we go. Charging away there. Green light means it's going. There's the Tesla badging on the charger. The proof it is the Tesla Gen 3 connector right there. All right, let's hop into the car. Okay, so the display in the car is showing that with 21% state of charge, it will complete at 9.22 p.m. It's currently 4.22 p.m., so five hours worth of charging. Limit set to 80%. It's charging at three phase apparently, 41 kilometers an hour, 16 amps, 226 volts. So there we go. Tesla Gen 3 wall connector works with a Polestar 2. And of course, thanks to the schedule charging function, you can actually set when you want the charge to come on and off, which is great. Start and stop time. And on the center console in very, Clear instructions, it'll say schedule time, 12 to 4 a.m. Okay, so now I'm using the included 10 amp charger that comes with the Polestar. So here it is right there, flashing away, it means it's charging. And it's definitely 10 amp, it says so on the charger itself. There we go, input 10 amp right there, single phase, output 2.3 kilowatts. And it comes with this strap here, which says Polestar. There it is there. And running to the car. Again, flashing green. Means it's working. Let's hop into the car now. Okay, the car center console says charging at six kilometers an hour, 10 amps, 225 volts, single phase. Completed in more than 24 hours from the current state of charge of 20%. Limit set to 80%. All right, so here we are at IKEA Marston Park in Sydney, and we are going to charge the Polestar 2. So let's walk to the charge box. All right, let's press. There we go, wall box, touch to start. All right, so Joy's gonna plug in now, firstly. Type 2 cable. Let's open the charge port. Thank you, Joy. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go to the box. Okay, so there it is, charging away. Hopefully you can see that with the glare. There we go, on the app as well as on the charge box. Okay, so there it is on the drive console there. Got the time, completes at 3.29 p.m. Battery level 34% currently, limit to 60%. Range, charging info, three phase. And you can bump it up here on the screen if you want. Let's say pop it to 80%. And then it changes accordingly on the screen there. All right, so now we're gonna go test a DC fast charger and the closest one to us is uh, EV at Seven Hills and check it out. The uh, uh, nav screen here shows the uh, number of stores available for each charger. So there we go, one of two very fast available for CCS. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we are at Seven Hills EV. Let's plug in, let's grab the plug. Open the charge port. There we go. Undo this DC component there, the flap. 
And let's plug it in. Okay. That's good. Let's go back to the charger. All right, let's swipe my card down here. Payment accepted. Please wait, starting session. All right, here we go. It's going now. So my state of charge is only 37% at the moment. But still, it's climbing. So it's peaked at 153. And the uh, top speed, according to the Polestar website, is 151. So yeah, it's pretty much matching what is advertised. Excellent. All right, so you can see on the screen there when it's charging, you can see the uh, orange graphic in front of the car is sliding towards the car in waves to indicate that there is charge entering the car. All right, so uh, we've got to head off and uh, pick up the kids from school. So time to unplug, even though we're not quite at 80%, but that's okay, 68% is quite a lot. And it's ending at 71 kilowatts. Let's uh, press the stop there. Okay, it says please return plug, so Joy is going to unplug now. Thank you, Joy. Put the DC flap back on. Cool. Shut the lid. And Joy is going to return plug back to the cradle. Excellent. Have a great day. Drive safe. We shall. All right, so here is the tax invoice from EV Networks for that charging session. $17.45 for 29.091 kilowatt hours, 120 kilometers of range added. The charging session fee was 60 cents per kilowatt hour, and the duration was 19 minutes. So as you can see in this charge curve chart, with the data points that we had in our short charging session, the Polestar 2 in yellow, like the Model 3 in blue, predictably drops its charging speed on the y-axis as time went on in the x-axis. Interestingly, the Polestar 2 drops in a stepwise fashion, seemingly able to hold a charge rate for a brief period of time before stepping down dramatically to enter another more stable charge rate, whereas the Tesla Model 3 in blue tends to degrade in a more linear fashion. Hyundai Ioniq 5 in orange and the Kia EV6 in lime green enjoy higher charging rates thanks to their 800 volt battery architecture. Of course, as you saw in the video, we only had a brief window to conduct this test due to other commitments, but of course, would love to repeat this test with a lower state of charge to see if it peaks any higher than the factory stated 150 kilowatts, and also to see how much slower the charge rate gets towards the end of an average charging session, say towards 80%. Perhaps next time. Alright everyone, thanks so much for sticking around to the end of our Polestar 2 charging demonstration video. Many thanks again to Polestar Australia for the loan of this beautiful long-range dual-motor Polestar 2 with the Performance Pilot and Plus packs. Make sure you check out your local experience centre for a Polestar 2 test drive. Take care everyone, and until the next ludicrous feed video, happy charging! Music